What's up guys, this is Katie Lodi and Google just dropped beta 3 of Android version 10Q for 21 phones in total and that includes phones from Xiaomi, Huawei, LG, Asus and all the other Pixel phones. But yeah, jumping right into the update itself, we have some radical changes right out of the box. First is a system wide dark theme and this is a proper OLED black theme and not just a bluish dark and it will save your battery life for real but more importantly it looks a lot cooler. Then the next major change we have is the all new gesture navigation for Android and now we just have a single thin bar for navigation, no back buttons, no multitasking button, just one single thin bar and swiping up takes you to the home screen then half swipe up and hold takes you to the multitasking tray and then swiping left and right lets you easily switch apps which is super intuitive and the back button since it's gone it's now been substituted by an edge swipe and i'm not really sure about this edge swipe thing because this exact swiping gesture is mainly used for app menus so every time you need to get into an app menu you need to press the hamburger button and that's just how it is now and overall this new gesture navigation is pretty awkward to be honest and but of course since it's a beta it's totally not perfect in its operation it lags and it's definitely not smooth as an iphone part of the reason is that since the phone it's running on the og pixel it's kind of dated but it's also designed to run on even cheaper phones like the pixel 3a so let's just see how it turns out to be by the final release but those are the major changes. Apart from this, all the other UI changes are small but still visible. Like firstly how changing app icon shapes also affects the quick settings toggle shapes. Pretty cool. Then swiping right from notifications will take you to the notification actions. Uh, it's weird, I don't know. Then we also have a new privacy tab and settings with more consolidated controls over stuff. And also advertising ID settings. Really neat. Also, location permissions and fingerprinting have a new UI, like a card type UI similar to iOS. The status bar also has a new icon set. The file manager has a brand new UI. Media playback also has a new UI. And there are a bunch of other behind the scenes changes like faster modular software updates using project mainline, native support for foldable hardware, 5G support and some other features like live captions, digital well-being improvements, which will ship later this year during fall. That was it. Like I said in the title, Android Q is quite underwhelming. And on top of that, a huge bummer is that we still don't have an Easter egg. It still shows the Android Pie Easter egg, so yeah, let's see. But that's basically it for this quick feature overview. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Cheers.